welcome welcome my dears thank you so much for choosing to watch this video i really appreciate it thank you for the click as the first video of 2022 i wanted to start strong uh, and i'm going to answer one of my most asked questions how to grow a healthy and long hair in 2022 because i know how much we all love to start a new chapter because of a new year I, I also do the same. So the first tip on how to grow healthy and long hair. Oh my God, how many times have I already said that? And it's just the beginning of this video. Oh my God, it's going to be a long video <laughs> just because I'm saying that uh, too much. Okay, so the first um, tip on what I experienced that really helped me to grow my hair so long and healthy um, is to have a balanced diet. What does that mean? Well, try to incorporate in your daily routine fruits and vegetables, like at least two fruits and two vegetables per day. And also be sure to, to drink two liters of water daily because yeah, how can your hair and your skin be hydrated if your body, like you yourself, are not hydrated? So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, that is rich in protein. It doesn't matter if it is like a vegan protein or animal protein. Well, that is your choice, of course. But yes, not having a balanced diet um, with the right nutrients, your body can focus on your hair's health or your skin health because your body will focus to keep your entire body, your entire organs healthy also this is really important especially if you have hair loss due to poor nutrition this is the most important tip for you <laughs> don't forget to be healthy outside you have to be healthy inside so as a conclusion for the first <laughs> for the first tip is that protein having a rich protein diet uh, is the most important component for a strong and healthy hair and that's what we want yes yes <laughs> so another must have in your diet would be the omega-3 fatty acids this will help you a lot <laughs> with your nails and with your hair of course i am taking this on a daily basis let me just show you also how it looks like right here you can see it you can see it uh, yes it has it is oil um, but I don't really like to take it all by itself. My boyfriend doesn't have this problem. He's just there like, Zoop, that's it, perfect. I just have to add it in my tea or in my morning oatmeal or something because I can't, I can't eat it like that. I, I don't like the oil consistency. It's making me a little bit sick. <laughs> I Other vitamins that are really important uh, are vitamin C, vitamin E and vitamin D. Uh, whether you want to take them from your food or from supplements uh, they are really really important and this is like a reminder for you to take them because we tend to lack some of those vitamins during the winter so yes that's like a kindly reminder for all of you for all of us okay so this is tip number two if you want your hair to grow you have to focus First of all, on your hair's health, right? It's logical. <laughs> if you want your hair to grow, it has to be healthy. And if your hair is not healthy, then it's not going to grow. So focus on your hair's health. But how to do that? What do I refer when I say that? Hmm, well, <laughs> first of all, it's really, really important to take frequently trims. What I mean when I say frequently trims like once, twice or three times per year. I personally trim my ends like one centimeter every time, like just twice per year, sometimes three times per year. But if you are bleaching your hair or dyeing your hair, probably it should be more than that. Not that much because then you are just cutting all of your growth. But yes, you can see whenever you have split ends. Like whenever you are trying to brush your hair, uh, the brush will get stuck in your 
ends and it's so hard to manage mm, you can tell whenever you have split ends if you want i can do also a video about that how to notice whenever you have split ends maybe a short or may maybe an entire youtube video i don't know i don't know let me know <laughs> why did i mention to trim your hair in your hair growth journey well because if you are not trimming it frequently um, the breakage rate it will be bigger than your hair growth rate our hair is growing yes and because of the split ends they are just going to split the strand the hair strands so much more so much more and then finally it will just break and then you are just going to be like why is my hair growing why why what am i doing wrong well that's why you can't really cure your split ends but you can prevent them okay uh, for example invest in a silk or satin i prefer silk bonnet and or pillowcase as you wish i i really love better my pillowcase but whenever i'm doing it less curls i love to wear my silk bonnet also uh, yes also investing in silk scrunchies is 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 something that everyone should do like they are so soft you you really need to do that <laughs> uh, what's next do deep conditioning hair masks don't sleep with your hair down oh my god it's just going to create so many tangles in your hair and breakage oh my god no no <laughs> protective hairstyles i also have a video about how to protect your hair during the night yes yes you have to check this out that one out um yes use leave-in conditioner when detangling your hair never detangle your hair while it's really dry even if it is straight hair uh, if you have curly and wavy hair never do that of course <laughs> that, that would be like such a big a huge mistake for your hair for your poor and beautiful curls um, i have to do a separate video with hair care mistakes that are stopping you <laughs> uh, that are stopping your hair from growing i really should do that right yes I, I think i have i really have to do that let me know and now the third step the third hair care tip on how to grow healthy and long hair uh, is doing head massages head massages <laughs> uh, what is that about well you are just going to massage your scalp with or without oils uh, lately, I really prefer to spray some rosemary water on my scalp and after that just to massage it or before going to shower, I'm just going to take my favorite um, scalp oil serum, the Amalaki scalp oil serum. God, it's, it's the perfect one for me. I, I just love it. I also have a discount code for you if you want it. If you want to use it why are scalp massages a must in your hair growth journey well because scalp massages are going to stimulate hair growth and it's amazing if you are experiencing hair loss especially if you are experiencing hair loss by massaging it it helps blood flow to nourish uh, the follicle how to massage your scalp well you are going to use your fingertips not your nails if you're going if you have nails use the fingertips of both hands and start moving them in circular motion try doing this for five minutes like five minutes every day sometimes i forget to do them so yes not really every day but at least some days per week this will help you <laughs> and if you are going to go hardcore in this hair growth journey to spice a little bit try massaging your hair upside down you can also do a handstand headstand if you can i don't but hopefully uh, if my yoga journey is um, going well that will lead me there <laughs> Hopefully, I hope that. I want to experience this. I want, so I'm going strong with my yoga journey also. But if you feel uh, dizzy, you do the normal. You have to do the normal scalp massage, okay? And if we talked about yoga, guess what? <laughs> yoga can also help. Yoga can improve your, your hair's health and 
hair growth. <laughs> it's crazy, right? I mean, yoga is helping so much with so many problems we are dealing with in our lives. Like, wow, I'm, I'm so happy that lately yoga starts to become more popular. Um, so yes, there is hope. There is hope indeed. <laughs> yoga will help you, especially if you are doing those, those yoga positions. It's the same deal as for the scalp massages because it will stimulate blood flow and will nourish your follicle. Welcome hair growth. Next step on boosting your hair growth is scalp care. Scalp care. Oh my God, scalp care. Why did I... What? <laughs> Halloween is still in my head as I see. Oh my God. <laughs> scalp care. Scalp scare everyone. <laughs> oh my god, it was so so funny. <laughs> uh, yes, so keep this in mind. Yes, um, if you want to have a healthy hair, you have to have a healthy scalp, right? Right. Because, I mean, the hair grows from the scalp, right? Right. Just wanted to emphasize the obvious. Haha, <laughs> funny me. <laughs> First step in taking uh, care of your scalp would be to invest in a shampoo that suits your scalp type, not your hair type, no? <laughs> it can be that you have oily scalp and normal hair type. So, of course, that you are going to invest in a normal to oily uh, scalp um, shampoo. Because, you know, shampoo goes just on your scalp and conditioner just on your length, just, just saying. <laughs> also, try to incorporate these oils in your routine, like before going to shower, just apply these oils mm, with like two or three hours before actually showering. Lavender, rosemary, fenugreek, peppermint, also grapeseed oil. There are so many oils I love, uh, but those are the top, the top for me, especially. I, I just love them. And I, th I think that I'm just going to stop here with everything because I don't want the video to be that long and you to feel bored. So it would be better if I stop here and <laughs> uh, to post another videos also on hair care. I'm also planning um, to post some vlogs like those cute vlogs with lofty music on it or study with me I don't know I would love that also what I eat in a day kind of videos like in the vlogs incorporated I also want to have some chill videos on here uh, yes if you haven't already please uh, like this uh, video uh, it would re it would mean a lot to me <laughs> your support means everything to me thank you so much for being here and please subscribe to my youtube channel and yes thank you so much for your time see you in my next videos cuties bye <laughs>